So we have designed our over center cam ball mount to accommodate various types of hitches because that's something we have to deal with and you at home are going to have uh, a trailer that isn't exactly the same as ours. So you can see here we've got, there's, I don't know, there's probably 30 different types of, of hitch connectors and you can see what we're concerned about is getting locked onto them. So on the underside, you'll see this one has got a little weldment on here. So there's a, there's a flat surface and then it goes up to a raised bump. This one is pretty good. You know, these guys are fairly flat when they're locked, but we do deal with this. You know, here's another style, same thing. And then we also have some that have a very prominent angle. So the Jayco trailers, that sort of thing. If you'll notice it, when you're connected and you look at the bottom of your tongue, you'll actually see that the bottom is kind of pitched up on an angle like that. So we have various different shims and attachments that will accommodate these angles. So I'm just gonna demonstrate here. So this is a bulldog type hitch. This is a cast unit, very robust. It's nice, because it's fairly flat on the bottom. So this one would go on, and it's a spring-loaded thing. So it locks in like so. And then you're just gonna push up, making sure that the, the arm on this thing is 90 degrees to your unit and your tongue. You're just gonna push it up you want it nice and tight. So if it's not nice and tight, you're gonna take it off, you're gonna screw the ball down a little bit more, push it up tight again, but this has got a nice secure connection and you can turn your tongue back and forth. What you're looking for is the air gap underneath here. You want, the, you want a nice flat connection. This style, we lift up, it locks on like so. Now, you'll notice if you look underneath, when I bring up my pressure plate, now you can see I'm hitting the metal here on the back side, but I've got all this air gap. So we have various different shim plates that will go in here, whether it be flat or whether the whole thing is tipped up on an angle, we can accommodate an angled wedge. So when you get on there, the tongue portion of your trailer is nice and level with the ground. That's the main thing you're after. This last one I have here is an example. I'll just put it on to show you. This is a different mechanism. It's got a slide forward. And again, we'll slide this guy up. So you will see it will, if I push it all the way up, it's gonna hit the back and the front, but there's an air gap here. And if you look back here, the angle, or actually, you know, level would be going down this way. This is going upward on an angle. So what we need to see is if we bring this down on an angle and you look underneath, we're gonna to wanna to see, you know, take a, pull your phone out and take us a picture with your camera, but we wanna see this air gap and even better, if you can take a tape measure and if you can kind of just, you know, hold that thing up so we get an idea, you know, exactly what space we're dealing with, we can send you the appropriate shim to fix your rate up.